I'm sorry. I really am. I didn't want to or mean to ruin anybody's life. CBC Toronto received this 12-minute edited video showing a beaten and bruised Aidan Platursky, seemingly apologizing to investors and explaining what he claims happened to the millions they gave him. Platursky says he lost $45 million in a single month. When the money was coming in, I was failing to tell people that I'd lost a lot of it, which caused me to use more leverage in the crypto market, which caused me to lose more and more and more because I was trying to recoup my losses, which was not the right thing to do at all. The 24-year-old boasted about his lavish lifestyle and caught the eye of investors, who gave him tens of millions to invest in cryptocurrency and foreign exchange. But last year, things started to unravel, and now authorities are trying to track down millions that are unaccounted for through bankruptcy proceedings. I honestly feel very, very humiliated. I feel embarrassed. Toronto police won't comment on the video. Through his lawyer, Platursky said it was taken when he was kidnapped in December. Platursky's lawyer told CBC Toronto, neither he nor I have seen the complete video, so he can't really comment on it. All he can say is that while some of it is accurate, he was being forced to say a lot of it by his kidnappers. Kidnappers, allegedly five of them. CBC has learned they were charged earlier this month with dozens of offenses, including kidnapping with the intent to hold Platursky for ransom last December. Maybe five years, hopefully. We'll yeah. see, yeah. Okay. One of those charged is Akeel Haywood, seen here in a 2017 CBC interview about the Toronto Caribbean Carnival. The community volunteer and businessman is the founder of a non-profit event organizer. Court records show Haywood lost more than $700,000 investing with Platursky, and in another twist, he was appointed as an inspector in Platursky's bankruptcy proceedings, a role that had him representing the investors trying to recoup their millions. This was highly unusual. Norman Groot is a lawyer hired by some of Platursky's investors. I've never seen a bankruptcy proceeding where an inspector um, is charged in a kidnapping and a forcible confinement related to recovering money in a bankruptcy. So Mr. Haywood would have been privy to um, the particulars of whatever investigation Grant Thornton was conducting. Um, and the concern always is that, um, you know, is that information going to be used for their own purpose outside of the bankruptcy proceedings. Haywood is also charged with threatening an official from Grant Thornton, who's overseeing the proceedings for $2 million in cryptocurrency. The accounting firm said Haywood resigned as an inspector. Grant Thornton said, We've been cooperating with police and have maintained open lines of communication. We cannot comment any further as this is an active investigation. Haywood declined to do an interview and answer a list of questions, but he did tell us that he's innocent. Four other men have also been charged in relation to the alleged kidnapping, including with assault and gun offenses. None of the allegations have been tested in court. Platursky's lawyer said his client is grateful for police officers' work in apprehending those involved in his kidnapping and assault. In the video, he seems to concede some investor money went to his own personal expenses, but vowed to pay them all back. I'm going to do it before I go and buy myself another car, before I go and buy myself another watch, before I go and buy myself expensive clothing or anything. So Angelina, he's only invested a fraction of, of the millions that people gave him. What's the latest in this case? Well, Ian, the first thing that I want to note is that Platursky isn't facing any criminal charges. Authorities are still trying to figure out where all of that money went. So far, the bankruptcy proceeding has found that Platursky invested less than 2% of the just over $40 million that investors gave him. It's also found that he spent nearly $16 million on himself, renting private jets, going on vacations, and adding luxury cars to his collection. Platursky's lawyer told us his client says he's looking forward to the, quote, fairest conclusion of the bankruptcy process for all parties involved. Yeah, it's a fascinating story, Angelina. Thanks.